guys on the last video we had a great comment from d i like his avatar he said that's exactly how i price go by square foot then by the difficulty of the job or structure then i'll either go a little lower or higher i go 15 cents square foot usually excellent i love to see it and I love to see that you're getting something out of these videos. If you want to see that exact video about pricing via square footage, click the link up here. It'll be up in the top and it'll take you there. Okay, so for today's video, we got a really good question, a good doozy. You know, Line Juto has given you guys a gift. He says, Aaron, thank you for the video. Question, can you clean asphalt with a surface cleaner? <laughs> if not, what are the consequences guys this dude right here is going to save you a lot of hurt line thank you for sending your questions in but before i answer this if you're looking to get your business started into 2022 you're just getting started in the pressure washing game and you're looking for a compressed bit of knowledge that can cut your learning curve in half i urge you to get the zero to 7k local domination course this course has been taken by thousands of people around the globe from australia to denmark south africa uk ireland us canada mexico we got a ton of guys who have used this course and use the information in it to start their business and go from that zero to 7k mark so if that's you and you're wanting to launch into 2022 go ahead and click the first link in the description first link in the comments that'll take you to the course so awesome let's discuss exactly this question here can you use a surface cleaner on asphalt okay first what i'm going to address is a few things that you never want to do with asphalt the first thing is you never want to get gasoline on asphalt because gasoline is petroleum and so is asphalt and it will melt a hole in asphalt it'll eat it away it's just don't get gasoline from your uh, machines or anything like that on asphalt it's really terrible for that that's why you never see concrete pads uh next to uh the pumps at the gas station uh, excuse me, that's why you only see concrete pads. They're not asphalt is because gasoline will not eat concrete like it does asphalt. So that's number one. Number two, never get degreaser on asphalt. It is not good. It will eat it away because again, degreaser is going to break up that petroleum based asphalt as well. So keep your Kims inside your truck. If you're working around asphalt, make sure that you don't get your degreaser also number three don't get bleach on asphalt bleach will turn it a bit gray okay um i know from experience so take that from uh take that from me don't get your bleach on asphalt especially 12 percent. i try not to get any on asphalt because it will definitely uh take the color out a bit it won't make it white but it will rob it of its color and you will definitely be able to tell that bleach was there. So to your question, can you use a surface cleaner on asphalt? First off, I don't know why you would. Um, you probably should just use a good ball valve on it and rinse it. And if you can't get it as clean as you need to with a ball valve, then I wouldn't personally touch it with a surface cleaner because you can blow sand out of new asphalt. New asphalt with a surface cleaner, you can remove some of that binding that is holding the asphalt together, and it's just not good for it. Um, like concrete, asphalt doesn't hold up like that. It is kind of like it's, it's this weird animal of compressed moon sand if you will and when you start blowing pressure in between it it starts removing a lot of that sediment and a lot of that sand that is binding it together and um, it's just not good for it so I hope this answers your question and I hope we go above and beyond answering your question here on some other things that you should not get on asphalt for your business if you're loving these videos of this Q&A format here from you guys who are submitting your questions comment below if you have a question but also like this video and subscribe because I'm going to be bringing a lot more of these to you guys in the pressure washing game so we can help get your learning curve there uh, uh, to the next level all right if you will to quote Mike Vidan so Thank you for the questions. If you have one, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.
Do you want to win this $28,000 pressure washing trailer? Click the link below. We're going to be giving away this custom built trailer as well as over $15,000 in door prizes at WashCon Live. The four biggest names in the pressure washing industry will be speaking live. Cody Yarbrough from Southeast Softwash, Mike Vidan from All About Pressure Washing, Aaron Parker from Aaron's Lean Mean Academy, and Justin Rogers from Forever Self-Employed. The core four have come together to bring the most immersive two-day training event in the history of the industry, covering everything from marketing, sales, equipment, and long-term growth. And if that wasn't enough, we're also offering a few tickets for the third day that we're calling the VIP Roundtable, where we're going to work with you in small groups to break down your business and build a personal game plan specific to you. Do not wait. This event will sell out. There's less than 80 seats left and even fewer VIP roundtable spots. So click the link below and get your tickets before it's too late.